So guys, this is my first ratchet style belt. Let's check it out, put it together and see what it looks like. I like this box that it comes in. It's pretty fancy and stylish. Comes with packaging. Looks like this is the ratchet for the belt right here. It's in this protective styrofoam case surrounded by some plastic to keep it extra nice. Let's peel that back. So I really like this carbon fiber print right here. It looks really cool. And this feels pretty heavy duty too. This is not a cheap piece of material. Here's the back of it. It's got some loops and some straps. I still don't know how to use this yet. I'm gonna have to read the information on how to put it together, but I'll show you. Here's the belt too. That comes wrapped up in some plastic. And we can get that out of the way and take a closer look at the belt here. You see one end is squared off like this and you have different places where you can cut it to shorten it and the other end is the one that you're going to loop through. So I really like this black material right here. It looks really cool, feels really tough. It's pretty solid and thick too. Nice brown reverse side as well with some stylish uh, accents right here. So a really cool belt so far. And I have a feeling that these are gonna be used to work with ratchet somehow. And it does come with a resizing and looping manual. So this should help us get this belt put together into the right size. Okay, now in order to size this belt properly, you wanna wrap it around your waist like so, and then you want to take this end right here, the one that you're going to keep, and you're going to put it roughly in the middle of your body right here. Then you will bring this strap around, and you can see that they come together about right here. Here's the strap that we're going to keep, here's the rest of the belt, and then I'm going to go 15 centimeters in this direction, so I'm going to add 15 centimeters to the belt from this point, and for others that might not know centimeters, that's roughly seven inches. So I'm going to take that belt, tighten it as much as I can or how I would wear it, and then I would add seven inches. And then I'll take that length that the belt should be, and you'll see these lines right here that you can cut along in order to shorten the belt. Now the key here is to avoid cutting down too much and to avoid cutting from the right side. So to make sure you're cutting from the right side, again, this is the side you wanna keep, the one with this stuff, and this is the side we're going to cut, the one with the lines. And so for me to cut this, I'm just gonna go butcher on it and use a meat cleaver. So let's have at this here and see how well this works. I'm gonna cut for that line right there. Let's go, let's see how well this works. See if I can actually do this with this cleaver. Because it does say to use scissors, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just gonna cleaver, oh, there we go. And it comes off, okay, easy enough. Now we're gonna take that end that we just cut right there and we're going to insert it into this part right here on this belt loop. So you'll see that this is the part that has a little switch right here that pops up and it has those little pointy parts right there. So we're just gonna go into this piece right here. So we'll just slide it in like that and go as far as you can and it will stop on its own. And then you're gonna press these little teeth down into it by folding this shut. There we go, now it's solid on the belt like that. And now to work the belt, we're actually going to go through this slot over here and we're just going to push this in. And you can actually hear that ratchet feature back there, as you can see that it interacts with this piece that we talked about earlier. And as you can see, once it's ratcheted, it is super tight. It's not going anywhere. I'm gonna pull as hard as I can here. No, it's not moving anywhere. Although I can ratchet it more if I want by simply pushing it in further. Now, if I want to loosen the belt, you'll see that there's a little lever right here on the bottom of this strap. All you have to do is push up in this direction and then pull out the belt. Simple as that. And now just to give you an idea of how this belt looks once it's on your pants. So I think that looks really good, super stylish with these brown pants and this black shirt. Let's see how easy it is to actually unstrap this while we're wearing it. Where's that little thing? There it is. And then, yep, super easy to get it in and get it out. On, off. Very easy. And here's how it looks with blue jeans. Again, looks really good. Holds the pants exactly where you want them to be. And what I really like about this belt is I feel like you could wear it for almost any occasion. Like it'll dress down and wear fine on everyday occasions. But because it has this really cool carbon fiber print and it looks so stylish, this could definitely go with a dressed up, nice outfit. So again, this is my first experience with a ratchet belt. It was really easy to size properly, super easy to put together. You know, I said at the beginning of the video that I didn't really know how to do it. It was no problem at all. Super simple, looks great, fits great. Super excited about this belt. Very happy that I got it.